<laughs> so where we are sitting then, right, the, right this moment, there's a, an imaginary lodge. I want you to imagine that you are sitting in the lodge that has already been constructed. And it has been constructed in the spirit realm. And in the spirit realm, it was lowered to the earth for, for us. For we, the Ojibwe and Shinabe, and all of our relatives. Uh, and the terminology that uh, we interpret Shinwakos uh, is the dream. We call it, we call it uh, the teaching lodge. That his dream of the lodge is what we are building today. Shinwak University is right there. Uh, but his teaching lodge is yet to be built. And that's what we are doing. That's what we are doing together. Can we all say that? We are going to build this lodge. We are going to build this lodge. Together. Together. Our being here was uh, an expression of, of the vision in the sense that we came together from different places and different backgrounds um, and came together to, with a focus in building something as a community. His vision was to build a teaching wigwam that would provide Anishinaabe students with quality culture-based education as well as quality Western education. Well, I know that the original intent um, for education um, was to um, preserve the Anishinaabe teachings um, and culture, but it was also to learn um, the non-Indigenous way. His vision was to have a school that had a focus on everybody being able to learn traditions and history and culture and the truth about our history uh, in Canada. Well, Shingwak, he envisioned the teaching lodge, so learning. Um, we all heard that the residential school that was built there was like a warped version of that. I had heard about Shingwak's vision, or rather about Shingwak earlier in the context of residential schools, and I didn't really realize that um, his vision had been taken out of context. A lot of people think in the residential uh, school context that uh, Shingwak's vision was that, was a result of that, and actually that's been perpetuated, and that was never his vision. This lodge is also a teaching lodge, but it's um, of utmost important to Shingwak. It's also a deeper meaning as it's about reclaiming that school and that um, education for Anishinaabe people. So that's why this teaching lodge is so important because it's, it's a reclaiming of the space um, and it's an actual fulfillment of Shingwak's original vision and um, it's perhaps even more important now that um, the residential school stood in the same site as this teaching lodge is now. Really reclaiming that vision uh, and having a, a teaching lodge, which is really about retaking that the culture, spirituality, beliefs, worldview, and in the way that it was initially uh, intended. It's not just a building, not just a lodge, it's um, the fulfillment of Shimok's vision. that are drilled around on the ground it is a pattern. It's a pattern. It's a pattern that was developed by the spirit in the spirit realm. Everything that we have and everything that we do first happened in the spirit world. What we are doing here today, you've seen the action. You've seen how everything is measured out, how everything is in in its order. That was established in the spirit realm. And it was for mankind, humankind, to 
to a provision, to fast, provision, to meditate, to concentrate, so that 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 spiritual dimension, that spiritual design, that spiritual architecture of the lodge, could then be transmitted here to this this realm, and that's what we are doing today. But it came to us in that manner. It came to us in that manner. If we're sitting here and we look up, we should be able to see the universe above us. When we, ha when we have finished this lodge, you will be able to sit in here and look up and you'll see the spirit road that starts from the east and goes across the universe. And when you look at that tonight, you'll see that pattern tonight. The orientation of life is from the east to the west. All of these holes can be tobaccoed and watered. Our mother, the earth, can be tobaccoed and watered and ready for her trees. Then, uh, then we're going to uh, make sure that we, we, uh, we say those words. Those words are said to our Creator to acknowledge that we're ready now and we're going to begin. Foreigner placed into the earth has been uh, prepared for them. There'll be an offering of tobacco placed here as well. There'll also be uh, an offering, a drink of water placed in this hole as well. We recognize uh, the life giving uh, energy properties that uh, we ask these trees to do this for us. It's not exactly uh, the end of them. The, the spirit of this remains within this lodge. And we acknowledge all of that and more with that tobacco offering and with that water that we place here for our relatives. see how it all fits together. It's not, it's not a separate story or a separate incident. It's a spirit happening. We, we are all spirit. We are all spirit. 